Primary school principal O oh Meng Meng, who was preparing to enjoy her retirement life, accidentally slipped into an unfamiliar book in the red chamber and became the unlucky mother of Jiao. She was infuriated to death by copying her family and exterminating her family. This is not the retirement life she wants. In order to enjoy her old age, it's hard to say that she has to return to her old job and roll up the nine leaking fish of this family well. To put it simply, it is an educator who has to study the career history of ancient chicken babies in order to lie down. Keywords of the novel No one in the red chamber can disturb my retirement life without pop-ups, no one in the red chamber can disturb my retirement life. Download the complete text of the text, no one in the red chamber can disturb my retirement life. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 New Scenarios You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 New Scenarios Here, here, Miss Lin is here, a girl rushed into the room and shouted inside. Oh Meng Meng raised her eyes and looked at the room full of jewels and treasures. Not far away was an incense burner that suffocated people and was not worth their lives. She reluctantly closed her eyes. She remembered seeing off the children at the school gate just now, which was her last farewell. Tomorrow, she began to enjoy her retirement life. As a result, someone came to commit an attack, and as the person in charge, she could only rush forward. The cold dagger pierced through her body, leaving only one thought in her mind. She had booked a vacation hotel in the Maldives and didn't know if it could be postponed. As a result, she was startled awake by the sound of Miss Lin. When she woke up, this image was right in front of her. Oh Meng Meng wanted to pinch herself, but just as she was about to say something, a gentle little hand came over and gently wiped the corner of her mouth. The old lady seems to be tired. Yesterday, when I found out that Miss Lin arrived today, I was worried. I woke up several times at night. Not to mention the old lady, even if it's us, we still remember. A woman in her thirties, dressed in an old dot fashion shirt, accompanied her smiling face. Oh Meng Meng can't remember where this is anymore, she really wasted so many books. However, she still couldn't believe that she would wear books like she had collected characters from those children's books, right? Oh Meng Meng is a key primary school principal who has worked for thirty years and has nurtured countless people. Under her leadership, the primary school has moved from a district key to a provincial key, and is one of the top 10 primary schools in the province. After 30 years of primary school education work, the students who grew up sometimes come back to see her, often jokingly saying that she is not good at teaching, but very good at managing students. But no one knows, she's getting so annoyed and meddling in people. She applied to withdraw from the second tier a year ago, but failed, I applied again half a year ago, but it hasn't been approved yet. A while ago, her superior unit wanted to transfer their school from public to private or let her continue as the principal, but she didn't agree. She had planned her retirement life early, booked a hotel, arranged her itinerary, packed all her luggage, and even bought a house with beautiful scenery in another province, preparing to return from vacation. She moved far away unable to return to the places that the students could find. She was determined that no one could disturb her retirement life. Why, why did she close her eyes and open them again, and come here? However, she couldn't help but think recklessly. Outsiders gathered around a sickly-looking little girl in her fifties and sixties, who, as written in a book, had two curved eyebrows that seemed to furrow rather than curl, and a pair of eyes that seemed to be filled with joy rather than emotion. The state is filled with two dimples of sorrow, and the body is plagued by a tender illness. Tears streamed down my face, and I gasped for breath. When idle, it is like a beautiful flower shining on the water, and when moving, it is like a weak willow supporting the wind. The heart has won more orifices than the stem, and illness is as good as Shizi winning three points. Oh, Meng Meng is a bit desperate. What should she do? Follow the plot, come forward and cry while holding her, and then say, with so many children, I only love your mother. Children can believe what these words say. Okay, experts in readology don't believe it either, 
so it doesn't matter if she believes it or not. What's important is, is she going to act like this now? Old lady. The Mandarin duck gently supported Umingmeng, but she didn't doubt anything. She grew up with the old lady from a young age and was able to become a first dot class made step by step. Mrs. Wang and Wang Shifeng both had to be polite to her, as she was the person who knew the old lady the best. She knew very well that the old lady looked gentle and humorous, but in her own words, she started from being a great granddaughter in law. Being able to manage such a large family, the old lady was just too old to bother, but she had a clear idea in her heart. If she really rushed to cry now, it would be fake. She was afraid that there might be some palpitations in her heart, so she remained silent. All right, everyone has arrived. Let's go back. Oh Meng Meng paused for a moment, looked up, and said to the person below. Just now, the cheerful atmosphere in the room was swept away, and everyone looked up at the old lady together. What does this mean? No introducers, no arrangements to greet elders, no calling for girls to come and meet foreign guests, just rushing around like this. At the age of seven, the man and woman had different seats. I moved Bao Yu out and Dai Yu lived in the warm pavilion in front of me. Dai Yu was tired from traveling, and we will talk about the ceremony with relatives later. Oh Meng Meng reached out her hand to the little girl and pulled her to sit down next to her, saying in a deep voice. Old lady. Mrs. Wong had been accompanying me for a long time, and countless thoughts had turned in her heart. She had just realized that she had not arranged anything and was impolite, but now as soon as she spoke, she was just moving Bao Yu out. She had always wanted to get her son back, thinking that the old lady had spoiled the good child. Now, the old lady calmly kicked Bao Yu out. I still use different seats at the age of seven, and Bao Yu is not just seven years old. Mrs. Wang felt suffocated again. Mrs. Xing and Grandma Zhu also felt a bit surprised and wanted to drive them all out. What does this mean? They couldn't help but wonder if something had just made the old lady unhappy, as they were not even allowed to salute. So they put their face down. I'm also tired. I don't need to come over for dinner tonight, let's use it indoors. Oh Meng Meng waved her hand, her face still uneasy. Everyone was hesitating when a burst of laughter came from outside the door, I'm late, I'm late. I saw the iconic figure walking out of the book enter, but when she saw the silent room, she couldn't bear to laugh anymore. She quickly withdrew her smile and greeted the old lady, the first lady, and the second lady. She peeked at the little person next to the old lady, but dared not speak. Get out. Oh Meng Meng closed her eyes coldly and reprimanded lightly. Everyone dared not speak anymore, stood up one by one to salute, and suddenly retreated cleanly. Xiao Daiyu was also frightened. She had been traveling all the way, feeling uneasy in her heart. However, when she saw her grandmother, she felt even more uneasy. She didn't ask her to bow or introduce anyone in the room to her, but instead kicked everyone out in one go. So, what is this about her? Won't it just offend the whole family? It's none of your business. Oh Meng Meng smiled at her and turned to Yuan Yang. Are you going to clean up? That. Yuan Yang hesitated a bit. Bao Yu is the old lady's beloved treasure. Now what do we say to move Bao Yu out? Where should we move it? Which of the people in that room is so compatible? However, when she saw the old lady's cold gaze, she quickly apologized and said, Yes, Mr. Bao is going out to burn incense today. I'm afraid it's too chaotic to move the house. Let Dai Yu rest here and tidy up before dinner, the old lady nodded, accepting Yuan Yang's explanation, but still setting a final time. Yuan Yang took orders and went down, feeling a drumbeat in her heart, but it didn't show on her face. All right. Xiao Pi has finally opened the article. I'm almost killing the editor. Finally, I opened it. I feel like even if I write to Usher, as long as I open it. So I came, the red chamber is really my life.saving straw. Last time I wrote about AI Roa, 
my mind was empty, so the editor suggested that I write about the Red Chamber. On the contrary, there were too many stories in my mind this time, and no matter how the male lead wrote them, it was not right, so I wrote one without CP. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Sister Lin You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Sister Lin After leaving the door, Mrs. Xing, Mrs. Wang, Mrs. Li, and Mrs. Wang were all in the front three halls. When they saw Yuan Yang, they quickly called her over. What's wrong with the old lady, Wang Shifen quickly asked. I was feeling lethargic early in the morning, and I just took a nap. I think it's because I've been missing my aunt these past few days, and I feel a bit uncomfortable. Yuan Yang quickly smiled. She had been in the old lady's house since childhood, and both the master and mother were old lady's people. Although I followed Wang Shifeng well, I still knew what to say and what not to say. Thinking about it, he bowed to Mrs. Wang again and said, Madam, Mr. Bao has moved in. The old lady just asked Bao Yu to move out of the warm pavilion, and everyone heard about it. Oh, except for Wang Shifeng, but they just came out of the old lady's house and she also heard about it. She suddenly understood that the old lady was really going to move Bao Yu out. Can't you let Miss Lin live in the Bai Sha cabinet while Bao Yu lives outside? Where can I find a place? Wang Shifeng quickly said. Yuan Yang didn't look at Wang Shifeng and smiled at the second wife, the old lady said, before dinner, we need to make room. Really, knowing that people are coming for such a long time, it's been lively, the room hasn't been vacated, clothes haven't been made, and people haven't been arranged. Even my aunt is just showing filial piety. Look at you guys, it's strange that the old lady isn't angry. Xing sneered and pointed to Wang Shifeng, who was all red and covered in pearls, rebuking her. She's hard to say to others, but Wang Shifeng is her daughter. In law, and she really doesn't need to pick a date when she scolds her. Wang Shifeng was taken aback for a moment and looked inside. The four masters, besides themselves, were all really plain colors. But soon, she didn't feel depressed again. Madame Xing and Madame Wang used to wear old clothes and never liked those bright colors, while Grandma Zhuli Wang's family was a widow. Now that I said I shouldn't wear it this way, who has reminded me again? She didn't think about it, she didn't even think about this issue. All right, I'm going back. The master is still waiting for the letter. Mrs. Xing sneered and stood up, taking her group of people with her. Although she didn't have a good time with the old master, just like the old master, she was happy when she saw that the second room was not doing well. Mrs. Wang remained expressionless, but her hand holding the prayer beads loosened and loosened again and again. After a while, she said, originally, Bao Yu was not small anymore. It should have been moved out long ago. Let's move him to the small house west of Rongxi Hall first. Yes. Yuan Yang quickly took her life and went out. Wang Shifeng looked at his aunt and hesitated for a moment. Is the old lady. All right, little one, little one, who knows what she's thinking. Mrs. Wang stood up and went back to Rongxi Hall on her own. Ping Er stood behind Wang Shifeng, her eyebrows furrowed as she said, I'm afraid the old lady has some thoughts again. I'm not afraid the old lady has ulterior motives, I'm afraid. Wang Shifeng chuckled and shook her handkerchief before heading directly to the small courtyard behind the old lady through the back door. Indoors, Lin Daiyu was also a bit anxious. She had heard her mother say from a young age that the maternal family was different from other families. The third-class servant who got off the ship was already quite decent, and then looked at her grandmother with silver temples but a bit serious, a bit timid. Oh Meng Meng gently patted her and forced a smile on her face. Don't be afraid, does your father have faith? Yes. Lin Daiyu remembered something and quickly asked Wang Mama to go and take the box with her. It was handed over to her by her father and asked her to give it to her aunt. However, when the old lady asked, after all, she was still a child, so she still handed it over to the old lady. Oh Meng Meng opened the box and found a letter at the top and a silver note below. 
she gave the silver note to Dayu and opened the letter herself. She was a bit inexperienced, but it wasn't serious. Even though Lin Rohai was a petty character, it was larger than her third character in the world, and it wasn't difficult to read. It was a bit convoluted, but it was okay and not too difficult to understand. These one thousand tales are the living expenses your father gave you. Take them for yourself. This west courtyard is my retirement home, and I'm going to pick you up. Do you know why your father sent you over? My mother passed away, and my father had no intention of continuing his life. So I asked my grandmother to take care of me, Dayu said softly. Do you understand what this means? Oh Meng Meng nodded and leaned against the big pillow, saying calmly to her. But she's not idle either. She's moving her neck and legs. She wants to retire, not to be twenty years older. She is now in a state of being well cared for by Jia Mu. Oh Meng Meng really wants to use vulgar language, and she deeply feels that these days are really unbearable. In the TV drama, she didn't see the old lady walking or leaving the house by herself. Her retirement life is to explore mountains and rivers, get close to nature to the fullest, and then stay away from crowds. Also, the time she traveled was not right. Why did she catch up with Sister Lin entering the Jia Mansion? Earlier, she asked Lin Ruhai to bid farewell. Later, she found a way to send Lin Ruhai back. Now that she has just arrived, she can only continue for now. And then what? What should she do? After she started working, she has been very busy. To be honest, she hasn't watched all the 87 versions of the TV series Dream of the Red Chamber. Don't watch the old replays. During the premiere, she was forced to study at home and was not allowed to watch. When she could watch, she ran out of time. As for storytelling, there's even less time left. The novels have become a study of the Red Chamber, with N interpretations in one sentence. Where did she go to study them? So now she can only be considered somewhat conceptual, but she really didn't understand the details. What should she do now? She knew that Sister Lin had died in tears at the Jia family. She was quite professional when it came to separating Bao Yu and Sister Lin. But what else could she do? How about opening a class, designing tutorials, and spreading out nine dot your compulsory education to them, don't think about those who don't have it. Dayu was also confused by the question and carefully put the silver ticket back on the table, looking timidly at O Meng Meng. At this time, Dayu was in her early sixties. Although she had already become enlightened at the age of five and was said to be intelligent, Lin Ruhai and Jia Min were both middle dot aged and gave birth to such a daughter. They were really afraid of melting in their mouths and flying in their hands. Otherwise, how could they keep their child so clean? In the eyes of basic education workers in the past 30 years, it has been foolish parents raising foolish children. So this will ask, what to learn, Dayu would be surprised if she could think it clearly. Oh Meng Meng smiled and moved her chin. Drink some water and then take a nap. Dayu dared not say no, reached out to drink the warm milk on the Kong table, climbed to the edge of the Kong, and lay down on her own. Oh Meng Meng rang the bell and called for someone to come in. The person next to her knew how to do it. She helped Dayu take off her cover and pulled on the blanket, which really made her take a break. Oh Meng Meng didn't want to speak either, and she dozed off on the other side of the Kong. She still has to sort out the things she needs to do in her mind. I won't be able to go back. Let me come, like the novels she collects from those little brats. I have to complete some tasks and fulfill their demands before I can go back. What is the appeal of this book? She doesn't know what the book's appeal is, but her appeal is to enjoy retirement. It was so easy for her to make it to retirement. This book is my voice. I really dream of retiring. Who is blocking my retirement? I am enemies with the whole world. End of this chapter. 3. Chapter 3. Bao Yu getting beaten early you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 3. Bao Yu getting beaten early at night, 
Bao Yu returned to the mansion but was stopped at the entrance of the west courtyard. The old lady and Miss Lin were both tired and did not see any guests. Bao Er Ye's house has been moved to Rongxi Hall. Bao Yu is all confused. What does this mean? He has been pampered like a phoenix egg since birth, and now why is he being kicked out? When he sees an old lady, he even says that the old lady doesn't see guests and has become a guest himself. However, he was a gentle child. After listening, he quickly thought that Uncle Lin's home was in Jiangnan, with countless mountains and rivers. He was afraid that he would be exhausted, so he happily went to greet his mother. When Mrs. Wang saw her son, it wouldn't hurt even if she rubbed it into her eyes. Now, putting her son under her own nose, the discomfort in the afternoon dissipated quite a bit. Of course, the chaos in Bao Yu's room was also in Mrs. Wang's eyes. However, at this time, she had not yet figured out the old lady's thoughts, and could only temporarily handle those who were warblers and swallows. But Bao Yu felt like he was in a state of deep water and fire. Where was Rongxi Hall? Besides Mrs. Wang, Jia Zheng also lived here, and even when he came in, he felt like he couldn't breathe well. And when Jia Zheng returned, he also heard about Bao Yu's relocation. Mrs. Wang originally intended to say that the old lady was unreasonable, and even if she cared about her niece, she couldn't stop coming out to greet her uncles and aunts. She even directly moved out Bao Yu without giving them time to react, which made Mrs. Wang most dissatisfied. Of course, it should also be mentioned that Rongxi Hall is cramped, with Zhao Yinyang, Zhou Yinyang, and Jia Huan living in the three rooms to the east, and San Chun living in the other three rooms. It was already a bit crowded, but when Bao Yu moved in, it became even more crowded. There are many people in Bao Yu Jia Zheng would not say that his mother was wrong, so he affirmed that it must be his son's fault, and it was still a big mistake. At this point, he invited the board. Master. Mrs. Wang was not originally a person of intelligence. To be honest, she had the advantage of marrying into the Jia family. She married this foolish Jia Zheng. If she were someone else, her temperament would have been completely wiped out. After talking for a while, she didn't apply any eye drops, but ended up throwing her son in, and Mrs. Wang couldn't settle the accounts for a long time. A kind-hearted mother often defeats her child, and the old lady treats him like an eyeball. Why did she suddenly kick him out? He must have done something heinous and immoral, which made the old lady feel cold. The old lady didn't say it, but it saved face for us. Are you still stopping us now? Such an unfilial thing should have been beaten to death long ago. Jia Zheng opened the old wife and took the family tradition presented by the nearby person. Not bad, the person below also has a keen eye. At this time, Bao Yu is still seven years old and really can't climb the board. So he climbed a vine, like a bundle of three. Give it a shot, three up and three down, one shot, double the pain, but in terms of physical damage. It won't kill anyone in any case. Bao Yu was born with no such experience. She suddenly fainted from the pain, and after more than ten drops, she woke up from the pain and cried bitterly. Mrs. Wang was also about to cry and faint. She called for someone to find the old lady while lying on the ground crying. The classic quote came out again, if my pearl. The person in charge hurriedly reported to the west courtyard and asked the old lady to come and save Bao Yu. Oh Meng Meng yawned while listening, she really just took a nap. Before retirement, students still knew that they couldn't knock on the door during lunch break. Now, it's better. The door to the west courtyard is even looser than the waistband of Bao Er's wife. I feel resentful in my heart, but when I think about it, it seems that the transformation cannot be too significant, otherwise, it would be troublesome to find out that she has changed the core. Still, someone dressed Dayu and took her to Rongxi Hall, but she didn't take a sedan chair. Instead, she leaned on a crutch and slowly walked over. She dare not say it in modern times, but she basically supports corporal punishment. Sometimes she wants to punish, 
but now when the child has nothing to do, she becomes depressed. It's really just that every family is causing trouble. Collaborating with the whole family, he magnified his emotional value to infinity, thinking that he was the center of the world. But there's no way. The child is a bare child, and the parents are also bare parents. They hold their phones to record and record videos, constantly exposing them, making the school not like the school, the teachers not like the teachers, and the students not like the students. The only advantage of Baoyu is to cherish her fragrance, but he lacks any ability to cherish her fragrance. Even if you buy a candy for someone you like, Rongfu will pay for it. What's going on? If you help someone recognize it yourself, thinking it's chivalry, it's actually foolishness, it's indulgence. Such children should be beaten first, and then thrown into the military training camp to train for several months. It is reasonable to know how to hold Mantu with dirty hands and how to write the word responsible. One family after another like us, what kind of family are you? They are just dilapidated households. Yuan Yang and Amber followed behind and exchanged a glance, but dared not speak. Their hearts also tugged at each other. It's not that they really care about Baoyu. They're thinking about what's wrong with the old lady. Finally arrived at Rongxi Hall, the nearby San Chun, Jiao Yan and his wife, as well as Li Wan's mother and son, wiping their tears while Mrs. Wang lay on the ground and shouted Pearl. Li Wan's mother and son were so free that they almost hugged their heads and cried bitterly. Looking on one side, on the execution bench, Bao Yu was beaten to the brink of death, unable to cry anymore. Oh Meng Meng stood there with a crutch, staring at Bao Yu's body. She wore a purple and golden crown embedded in her hair, and raised her eyebrows to grab the pearl and gold from her forehead, wearing a two-color golden butterfly and flower red arrow sleeve, tied with colorful silk and long tassels and palace strips, the outer cover is made of eight layers of Japanese satin with a blue raised flower pattern, wearing green satin foundation make dot up small facing boots. There are some blood stains between the waist and legs because they are not worn thick. It seems that Jia Zheng is really not soft-hearted when it comes to beating his son. Dayu had never seen this before, and tears streamed down her face. She wondered if it was because of herself. Tears also followed. Of course, if she didn't see her face, she felt that her cousin was too miserable. Even if, as her mother said, she didn't like reading and was full of recklessness, she shouldn't be like that. Wang Shifeng was quite clever and quickly shouted, The old lady is here. Mrs. Wang understood and quickly grabbed Jia Zheng, crying at the cold standing O Meng Meng, Madam, help Bao Yu. Old lady, your son's unfilial behavior has disturbed the old lady. Please forgive her. Jia Zheng quickly threw away the vine and came to Bao. Tell me, why did you beat me? O Meng Meng didn't care about Bao Yu being beaten but she cared about this family. They were all fools, and she was afraid of getting beaten for nothing. She would have to fight again in the future. He. Jia Zheng was taken aback and hesitated for a moment. He knew his mother too well and was really strict with Bao Yu, not even using a single word. Hurriedly kneeling down, the old lady. I won't stop you from hitting, but I want to tell him why you're hitting. Also, after saying why, how many times should you hit, and how much of a fight did you play with your temper? Believe it or not, as soon as you turn around, your foolish wife can tell the child that he's not wrong. You were just instigated by villains to throw tantrums. You hit for free, he got beaten for free. And then he learned even worse, and the father-son relationship disappeared. Oh Meng Meng lowered her head to look at a middle-aged and beautiful man in her forties, who had a bit of the style of the 1987 TV drama Jia Zheng. The teacher brought to life the image of a beautiful man with a straw bag. I just can't remember what his name is. So that teacher still has something. Jia Zheng and the people around him were stunned. This seems reasonable, but is this what the old lady should say? Or rather, is this what the old lady should say at this moment? Thank you all for saying that you like Xiao Pi's red chamber text. 
Really, Dream of the Red Chamber is a book that is often read and updated. A friend said that her child already has credits in elementary school, and there is an extracurricular research group. The Red Chamber is a specialized topic, but unfortunately, except for her daughter, everyone else just goes for credit. I said if you're willing to do it, you can always read the story for at least a few years. End of this chapter. 4. Chapter 4. If you don't fish in a pond, start by fighting first you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4. If you don't fish in a pond, let's fight first, my mother's instruction was that Bao Yu was stubborn and made my mother unhappy, so I just ordered him to move out. My son is. Jia Zheng quickly said. This dynasty ruled the world with filial piety, but my grandson made my grandmother unhappy and wanted to send him out. Why not fight him? Ah. Oh Meng Meng let out a long sigh and walked to the edge of the stool, looking at the seven-year-old little Jing Tai. Bao Yu, do you know what's wrong? Grandson. Bao Yu cried so hard that he was about to die. Grandfather, save grandson. Don't cry, your father hit you right. Look at you from head to toe, wearing gold and silver, bright red and green, even stepping on powder on the soles of your feet. No one told you, is your cousin from the Lin family coming today? Your aunt passed away less than a hundred days ago, and your cousin entered the mansion, only daring to wear plain clothes but not filial piety. This is her realization as a guest. What about you? Don't you have any empathy? Oh Meng Meng said slowly, holding her crutch. Bao Yu was stunned. He was originally a kind dot hearted boy, and even the things that the maids liked would be bought for them and kept for them. So at this moment, upon hearing the old lady say so, I looked at my cousin, who was very small and covered her face in tears, and felt embarrassed. Oh, I'm sorry, sister. It's really impolite for you, brother. At this moment, Wang Shifeng shrunk his neck and secretly felt relieved. After being snatched away by the fake mother. In law, as soon as she returned to the room, she went to look in the mirror. This morning she had dressed up deliberately, wearing a golden silk bun with eight treasures and a pearl hairpin hanging from the five phoenixes in the morning, wearing a crimson gold plate, chiffon, and wreath on the neck. The skirt is adorned with bean green palace stripes and a double balanced rose pendant, wearing a narrow red satin jacket with threads of gold and a hundred butterflies, and covered with a colorful carved silk stone blue silver mouse coat, wearing a jade floral crepe skirt. A truly wealthy and beautiful woman. She likes to dress up in such a lively way, to let the whole family know that she is such a person. Just now, my mother dot in dot law said that although she knew she didn't have any good intentions, she was a bit right. She wore the wrong clothes at the wrong time. So she immediately called Pinger and changed into a silver dark floral silk jacket, paired with a plain stone blue silver mouse coat. The jade floral pleated skirt was also changed to a lake green palace silk pleated skirt. Just replace the jewelry with a set of pearl and silver jewelry, and the whole person will be less flamboyant than before, with a little more charming like a little daughter. In. Law. Along with Jia Lien's entry, he also helped him change into a new outfit. Ping er has always been simple, only replacing the gold collar with silver. Now they are in contrast to the girls and women inside and outside the hall. Now that the old lady who dotes on Bao Yu doesn't say that the master dialed the wrong number, it can be seen that she just let herself out of the west courtyard, which has already given her face. And San Chun, who was nearby, took a step back together because they hadn't gone to see Miss Lin today, so they hadn't caught the old lady's eye yet. At this time, the three were dressed identically, all in powder. The same gold hairpin, gold bracelet and gold collar were not as dazzling as Bao Yu, but strictly speaking, they were wrong. Wang Shifeng saw it and quickly waved his hand, asking them to go back and exchange it quickly. Don't look for bad luck here. San Chun was no longer busy worrying about Bao Yu and ran away quickly. Afraid of letting O oh Meng Meng see. Bastard. Sure enough, Jia Zheng listened to the old lady's words and looked at his son. 
suddenly, his seven orifices were smoking. He scanned the outside again. Fortunately, several masters were ordinary, but the people around him and those who could be in the hall were all those with face. None of them were wearing gold or silver, and they were really about to spit out a mouthful of old blood. So the old lady hasn't had any seizures for so many years and has been enduring it until today. It's really unbearable. The housekeeper of the second room said that Jiao Yan and Wang Shifeng helped the housekeeper, but he was very clear in his heart that Mrs. Wang had the final say in this house, so in fact, Mrs. Wang did not manage her son and servants well. Otherwise, Wang Shifeng and his wife, as well as the master and servant families, are all clean. It's just that Mrs. Wang's side has a problem. Immediately turned around and glared angrily at Mrs. Wang. I asked Bao Yu to move out, not because he made a mistake, but because he was already seven years old. Now that Dai Yu is here, how can he still hang out in the inner court? Oh Meng Meng didn't care about that and continued with her thoughts. First, let's talk about Bao Yu's mistake, and then explain that she didn't rush because he made a mistake, one code at a time. The old lady is absolutely right, Jia Zheng suppressed his dissatisfaction and responded with great fear. Oh Meng Meng's scalp is a bit numb, really, her office director wouldn't be so numb. I mean, he's only seven years old, so who chose these clothes and how did he wear them? The children don't understand, and the people in charge don't understand either. Usually, I'm afraid the children don't understand, so I let these women follow me all the time. How did this follow? Oh Meng Meng didn't expect Jia Zheng to understand anymore, and said coldly to Wang Shifeng, I know those women. They love to stir up trouble, enrich themselves, don't do good things, and have a basket of bad things. Since that's all, I'll make a fuss about the second and third girls. As soon as the wet nurse tied her head, phone Gu Air, you took someone to copy their house. If it weren't for the things of the brothers and sisters, my surname would be upside down Wang Shifeng dared not speak anymore and let his own life down. There's no need to bother with this. There are many women around Bao Yu, each tied up a few, while both Ying Chun and Tan Chun have only one. Originally, they were still cursing and instructing the little maids to change the girls' clothes and jewelry. This plain colored jewelry is not often worn on weekdays, like the wet nurse who stole it for a long time. Now that she suddenly wants it, she can't take it out. Suddenly, the room in the welcoming spring is full of excitement. Mama preemptively claimed that it was the little girls who stole it, and even claimed that she had been unlucky for eight lifetimes, which gave birth to Ying Chun as they were cursing fiercely, Wang Shifeng's men arrived, too lazy to say anything. They covered their mouths and tied them up. I didn't say anything at all. Although Tan Chuan's nanny may not be considered a good thing, there is also Aunt Zhao ahead. When it comes to Tan Chuan's things, it really helps Aunt Zhao, so it's a bit unfair. However, this time, even Bao Yu's nanny and the nanny in charge have been tied up, and even Tan Chun, who has always been flamboyant, dare not speak up. In fact, Oh Meng Meng doesn't remember what happened to Bao Yu's wet nurse, but she remembers that the wet nurse in Ying Chun is the most useless thing. She stole her things and thought she was raising her sister, treating the well-behaved young lady like a maid. Taking advantage of Bao Yu's opportunity, he cleared the person out first. Otherwise, it wouldn't be easy to turn this girl back and break her. The little girls next to Tan Chun and Ying Chun were actually happy. These women usually felt that they had nurtured their brothers and sisters, so they felt superior. This was also the only monster raised in Rongfu. Anyway, Oming Meng is not used to these people. Mrs. Wang raised her head. You should know that the people around Bao Yu were all sent by the old lady, and she couldn't move. As a result, the old lady took action on her own and even copied the house. What's the point? I forgot to cry for a moment. I'm so tired. I haven't rested for two weeks in a row, and there are still some things I haven't done. I'm feeling annoyed. By the way, click on the electronic signature. I just signed it waiting for the review. 
So everyone, don't worry, it's mainly because being anxious is useless. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Old Lady's Mighty Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 The Old Lady's Mighty Power, Old Lady, Don't Hurt Yourself Because of That Popularity Jia Zheng still didn't understand what the old lady was doing, but now he felt that Mrs. Wang really didn't know how to manage the house. Looking at the old lady, in just a few words, he pointed out the root of the matter. This is the person of the old way. Mrs. Wang looked down and felt deeply that the old lady had indeed applied eye drops to the master again, afraid that she would have to make trouble with her again at night. He didn't even think about it. Bao Yu lived in the old lady's warm pavilion. Good morning, good night. When he left early in the morning, the old lady looked at him and didn't say that he was dressed incorrectly. Now in front of Lin Daiyu's outburst, it's just pretending. Oh Meng Meng sat down, her hands clung to the crutches, her chin resting on them, and coldly looked at the Jia Jing couple. Jia Jing quickly knelt down to his mother again. Mrs. Wang quickly withdrew her disapproval and crawled over, old lady, hurry up and invite the imperial physician for Bao Yu. Poor him. Shut up. Oh Meng Meng scolded coldly, pointing to the person under Dai Yu's head who was wiping tears on the side. Your second uncle and second aunt are lying on Bao Yu's stomach. I think your mother has also told you that he is a demon king who has been spoiled by me. Jia Zheng and his wife, as well as the servants, were stunned. Even Dai Yu didn't know how to salute, mainly because both of them were kneeling and it seemed difficult for them to stand, so they quickly followed suit. But kneeling down, it's not good to be polite again, it really made Dai Yu difficult to die. What are you kneeling for? The hardest part here is you. All right, it's not the time to meet today, Yuan Yang. Take Miss Lin back. Oh Meng Meng shook her head and waved her hand. Mrs. Wang just howled at Jia Zhu, saying, if Jia Zhu doesn't die, even if 10,000 precious gems die, what would happen? Now she's the only one Oh Meng Meng is really boring. They are all relatives of the next generation. Jia Lan, the eldest grandson of the Jia family's second wife, is just like Li Wan in other people's lives outside. Jia Zheng and his wife can turn a blind eye. This is the eldest grandson of the second wife, who doesn't live as well as Jia Huan's sense of existence. And Jia's mother is the same, as long as she knows Jia Zhu has a seed, they don't care about anything else. What's the problem with this? And she crawled over to hire a doctor for Bao Yu herself, is it really for Bao Yu's sake? The child was hit by a vine and the psychological damage actually outweighed the physical damage. Why did she sit on the stool instead of sitting in the front seat in the hall? It is to let the little Bao Yu know that he was not unjustly beaten this time, and also to show him how to correct his parents' mistakes. A child's perspective on right and wrong is very important, and what Bao Yu lacks the most is the correct perspective on right and wrong. She also brought Dai Yu here, thinking that there was something wrong with the Jia family. Dai Yu had already arrived at the Jia family, so she had to slowly integrate. It can't be said that this has nothing to do with you, so you don't need to come out. That person is even more uncomfortable. Another thing is to let everyone see her, and also to let the wealthy and I dot catching people in this room know that the person they are most protecting now is Dai Yu, and no one can get past her. It can also be considered a powerful operation using Bao Yu. Yuan Yang hurriedly pulled Dai Yu away, Li Wan looked at the situation and bowed to the old lady, dragging Jia Lan away. Although Jia Lian helped his uncle manage the house, he also knew that the old lady couldn't scold his second uncle in front of his big nephew. So looking left and right, everyone retreated and I silently helped them close the door from outside. I stood in the center of the courtyard and dared not approach. Oh Meng Meng remained silent just staring coldly at the couple. Jia Jing felt a chill in his heart, while Mrs. Wang was too scared to cry. A son who has been with the old lady for over 40 years, and a daughter dot in dot law who has been with her for almost 30 years, both of them actually know the old lady quite well. 
I casually copied several old women's houses and even tied them up. The old lady's ruthlessness in her youth immediately caught their hearts. There are only four masters indoors, including Baoyu who is still lying down, and they are also the top four people in the food chain of Rongwa Mansion. Old lady, but what did Wang do wrong and make you angry? Jia Zheng saw that the person had left, and with a flash of inspiration, he felt that he had guessed right. The old lady was angry with Wang. Busy and angry, he asked as if the old lady would divorce her immediately if she cried. In the afternoon, I took a nap and was scolded by your father. He said that the Jia family died in my hands. After much thought, I would die. Anyway, I am seventy years old, and my life has been rare for seventy years. I have not suffered in this life. I have eaten, played, and enjoyed my honor, and I come and go naked without any worries. Unfortunately, it's you fools. My surname is Shur and not Jia, and your father has long become gray. How can you still harm me? You're right. She looked coldly at the fake son, so the surname Jia was also intentional, not real, all fake. Old lady. Isn't it big brother? Jia Zheng lay on the ground and dared not get up. He was almost fifty years old, and was being called out by the old lady one after another. He was really embarrassed, but he didn't dare to say anything. These days really can't be lived anymore. Mainly, what does the old lady mean by saying that? Because of life and death, it attracted my father's daydream. Generally, those with firm willpower will use Confucius, Zi Bu Yen Luanli Guai Shen, to refute these absurd words, but there are also those who speak hard. But Jia Zheng is really not. He is just a weak and foolish person. He dare not even say these words to his mother, and can only vaguely think, has big brother done something wrong recently? This Rongfu is under the control of your husband and wife. What are you pulling him for? Oh Meng Meng was really speechless with anger. The main thing is that she is not familiar with the Red Mansions, and even less with Jia Shi and Jia Zheng. She can know Bao Yu and Dai Yu, which is just too much CP powder, so she has no place to hide. Who has time to learn about the uncle and father of the male protagonist? In Jia Mu's memory, there was a clear boundary between the eldest and second sons. The eldest son was born to her, but not raised by her. In addition, the eldest son's wife was not chosen by her, so she has always been distant from the eldest son's family. In modern terms, it is equivalent to paying for the phone. After Dai Shan's death, she left her second son by her side and knew she was not right. So for so many years, she didn't go out to save people from getting annoyed. She can only rely on Jia's memory to scold her son now. When neither of them is familiar, it is natural to curse based on the lecture notes. Jia's mother is more familiar with her second son Jia Zhang doesn't even need to make a rough draft when cursing, saying, so, you're not too foolish either. When you pull a cushion, you know you're looking for your big brother. When you take advantage of him, how can you pretend not to know? Old lady. Mrs. Wang stopped working. Although Jia Zheng really doesn't have much affection for her, she still has some affection for Jia Zheng. Besides, what does the old lady mean? What does it mean to take advantage of big brother's advantage? It's like a cat stepping on its tail. But when she saw the old lady's gaze shooting at her like a knife, she shrank and murmured, in front of Baoyu. Not my own cub, it doesn't hurt at all when fighting, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Foolish son and foolish son you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 6 Foolish son and foolish son I was wrong. He's not stupid. You said he read so many books, what kind of books did he do? Minister of Works, can he understand the drawings, or has he led a project? No, he just spends all his time at home listening to the praises of innocent people. Does it make you feel like you can't even recognize how much weight you have? Do you really think that if your father wasn't on his deathbed, you could have been admitted to the government on your own? You are also a grandfather now, can you have some brain? 
you believe everything others say. It's really stupid beyond measure. Oh Meng Meng stared at Jia Zhang and his wife with a black face, and without hesitation, started cursing. Sure enough, Bao Yu, who was still in pain and wanted to cry, stopped crying. She turned to look at her parents kneeling beside her and then at her grandmother, looking surprised. No joy, just shock. Is it okay to be here? Should I take the initiative to leave and others scold my parents? Or should I take the initiative to take responsibility for my parents? But seeing his grandmother like this, he dare not. Now she envies those family members who have already run away. Why not bring him along, old lady? Jia Zheng was really scolded to the point of doubting his life. This is his own mother. Okay, she's really a biological mother, otherwise I can't bear it. What's the old lady? I can't even scold you now. Oh Meng Meng hit her with a stick, finally able to hit someone. She was already 20 years old and dissatisfied with this, feeling a little better. After finishing typing, I suddenly remembered that the chapter of Sister Lin entering the Jia Mansion was in the first year of high school textbook, and she had read it before. Jia Yutsuan took Lin Ruhai's recommendation letter and also sent Sister Lin to the Jia family. Then Jia Zheng surprisingly managed to get it done for him, and Jia Yutsuan even got the position of Shantian Prefect. Did he underestimate this person? Lowering his head, he looked up and down at the middle dot aged and foolish handsome man. Upon reflection, he felt that Jia Yutsuan, a petty person, could not help. If he helped, he would be sold and the number of people he helped would be high. Looking at the time, so just now, Jia Zheng had already met Jia Yu village. Second, you're only from the fifth grade. How dare you recommend someone else to become an official? Do you have the qualifications to go to court? You hold your elder brother's seal and occupy the Rongxi Hall. You're just pretending to be a tiger. Lin Ruhai asked you to recommend it, so you recommended it. Lin Ruhai didn't recommend it himself, so he asked you to recommend it. With your brain, how could you dare to hit your son? I'm you, just jump into the river. That's right. Why didn't brother dot in dot law Lin recommend him? Jia Zheng was now well indebted and had been scolded to the point of numbness. When I lay down and covered my head, I still heard what O Meng Meng said. I lifted my head and looked at my mother foolishly. Dot. O Meng Meng pointed at Jia Zheng, took a deep breath, and looked up at the sky. She felt that nine dot year compulsory education was really necessary. Even if she had a primary school diploma, it wouldn't be like this. Old lady. Jia Zheng probed again. Your brother dot in dot law is that person. Oh Meng Meng thought about Lin Ruhai in Jia's mother's memory. She really looked at each other and looked down at Jia Zheng. Now she understood Jia's mother a bit. At least this fool didn't have so much caution, so he was also a kind of fool. She shook her head gently, do you think, where could your brother dot in dot law find someone better than him to send Dai Yu to Beijing? What a great opportunity for him to go to the capital and seek help from the Rongwa mansion to recover. This is just hanging a carrot and having him deliver Dai Yu to us quickly and well, so it won't be too late. As for whether or not to recommend and how to recommend, that's your business, it's none of his business. What is the connection between the Lin family of his fifth generation vassals, who will kill and set fire in the future, and cause trouble for one side, as it is also your or Rome's business, what should I do with my son? My son has just agreed, Jia Zheng paused for a moment and knelt as he looked at the old lady. Oh Meng Meng wants to say, do you want to ask me when you eat and sleep? Can you give me your salary? However, Holding on to the crutch and having had some luck with the weather, I wanted to fight again, but I also felt that Mrs. Wang was a bit right and couldn't hit his father in front of Bao Yu anymore, as the impact was not good. You say it. Oh Meng Meng patted the still struggling Bao Yu beside her, leaving you here to have an effect. Bao Yu was stunned and couldn't even care about the pain. Mainly in front of my father now, when I see him being beaten and scolded by the old lady, I still have to help come up with ideas. 
Is that okay? So, second in class, did you see that shouting and killing has been useless in recent years? The more you do this, the dumber he becomes. The old lady quickly pointed to Jia Jing again, and now she has found her position right away. She is a third dot party principal, and both of us criticized her. Then, we accurately transferred the hatred value to each other, and you father and son loved and killed each other. I was the one who tried to argue. Can you directly forward Lin Guzhang's letter to Shangwan? Lin Guzhang said that the gentleman is good and must be good. Bao Yu couldn't bear to listen any more and hurriedly said. Children all have self-esteem, and even the old lady scolds them as foolish children, and they can't bear it. Is it okay to forward Uncle Lin's letter to Shangfeng like this? Oh Meng Meng smiled slightly and asked again. Could you please attach another note, saying that you don't know this person at all, so I have attached Uncle Lin's letter specifically because I have been in the Lin family's affiliated residence for over a year before I recommended him. Bao Yu felt that the old lady looked a bit like a smiling tiger, and was frightened and hurriedly said. You are stronger than your lousy, maybe you belong to the kind of master who can't read the scriptures. Oh Meng Meng tilted her head to think. Although she hasn't read the books and dramas of Dream of the Red Chamber systematically, in the era of the explosion of modern knowledge, it's also difficult to know the storyline. If the truth is unknown, most people would think that this is a story that a noble young lady loves and cannot bear. However, she knew it was the rise and fall of a big family, implying the changes of the times. She turned her head to examine Bao Yu and thought, I'll hand you over to your uncle, maybe you can learn more. Jia Zheng and his wife widened their eyes together, but dared not refute Oh Meng Meng. However, Jia Zheng still had more than enough to stare at his son. Old lady. Bao Yu felt timid again when he saw his father like that. Second, don't worry if it's what Bao Yu said, think about it yourself. How about this idea? Oh Meng Meng actually thinks that this idea is not very good, which is about telling everyone that Jia Zheng is a fool and doesn't take any responsibility. He sold Lin Ruhai directly, causing embarrassment among relatives. But it has to be said that this is the simplest way to deal with this matter, and Jia Zheng is indeed a fool. But it's not so easy for Lin Ruhai to escape. Everyone, don't be easy. Madam, this idea is not feasible. Firstly, it's a private message for public use, which is unjust to Lin's brother. In law. Secondly, it's also irresponsible. Since the son doesn't know the character of that person, he just thinks that Lin's brother. In Dot Law's words are good, that's disregarding the court's laws and regulations, privately accepting and accepting, and even wanting to avoid personal contact. It's really unacceptable, so you should not get used to Bao Yu. Jia Zheng hurriedly shook his head and looked at Bao Yu again, which was fierce. I downloaded a writer assistant, which seems to be a bit useful. I am currently researching it, and it even has automatic error correction. I was moved to tears. However, we cannot correct the characters, we can only correct typos. I found that I didn't make many typos, but I dropped a lot of words. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Who I'm Afraid of You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 7 Who I'm Afraid of, It's Okay, But Not All of Your Books Have Really Been Read Into the Dog's Stomach. So, Bao Yu, have you seen it? This is the purpose of reading. Regardless of whether it's true or false, you can make some sense. Oh Meng Meng nodded and hit Jia Zheng on the shoulder with another stick, sternly asking, since you know, why did you agree again? You don't only know what the court's laws are now, do you? But when you read the letter, you agreed, just like you are in the Ministry of Personnel and have the power to lean towards the court and the public. Jia Zheng felt pain and could only lie down to apologize. My mind is confused again. Yes, I answered the letter and chatted with Jia Yutsuan before agreeing. I really didn't think there was anything wrong with it at that time. Now, upon closer reflection, Lin's brother. In. Law refused to recommend him and instead pushed him over. He only realized where the problem lay. 
but it's not impossible to use Bao Yu's method, but it's a bit embarrassing. He is foolish, but he has been in the officialdom for 20.30 years, and he also knows the basic rules. At least, he is not annoying in the court. This is actually not easy either. And Bao Yu beside him was also confused, thinking, so Uncle Lin was wrong. Why did Uncle Lin harm the master? No one is going to harm your father, how can we say it? Lin Ruhai comes from a background of exploring flowers and is a fifth generation marquis of the Lin family, but you don't even think about it. Your great grandfather changed the world with Taizu and only came to you for four generations. The Lin family has already been five generations, and then the late emperor let his father inherit one more generation. Do you understand? Oh Meng Meng tugged at the corner of her mouth and gently patted his small face. Old lady. Jia Zhenghan came down, and his mother really dared to say anything. Turning to his son, don't think or talk nonsense. Bao Yu actually didn't understand. It's useless to talk to a seven-year-old doll about the fourth or fifth generation. But looking at his father like that, he also knew that the old lady's words were very important, but could only be kept in his heart, but could not be said. Your father is right about what he said, but he can't be fooled by others without knowing anything. Your father is confused about big things and shrewd about small things, which also stems from it. He doesn't understand how people carry him around. He's almost fifty years old, and his mind is still a mess. Oh Meng Meng nodded and thought, now that you heard what your father just said, do you know where you went wrong? A bit lacking in character. Bao Yu is actually really smart. As long as he doesn't read the eight-legged essay, his mind is still good. The principle is that he doesn't like career economics. Don't tell him, this is career economics. Jia Zheng gave him the feeling that his career and economy were about equivalent to taking exams for official positions and fame, examining academic achievements is equivalent to reading and writing. Don't talk about Bao Yu, a normal child. Who loves learning? As Bao Yu grew up a bit, she directly gave herself a reason. I don't like these career economics, I'm not a layman. But he didn't think about it. He flattered his sister, and her tricks were all bought with official career economy. When he loses his parents, his fart will be gone. Yes, I only know how to avoid things, it's not human behavior. Oh Meng Meng nodded and smiled too much at Xiao Zheng. She didn't say, gentlemen, but only person. This is the responsibility that a person should have. When encountering something and only knowing how to avoid it, it doesn't even count as a person. What should I do? Bao Yu was also anxious. He easily came up with a solution, but it still couldn't be used. If it were me, I would go to the Ministry of Personnel to investigate the experience of Jia Yutsuan in the past and see what he did before he was overthrown by the court. Also, I believe that, I am born to be useful, and like your father, it is not suitable to work in the Ministry of Works, so now it is a typical vegetarian diet. But he is a bit good, and if I cannot do it, I will not do it. I will stay at home and promise not to cause trouble to the court. Look, the court will tolerate him. Now, Mr. Jia, who can teach your sister Lin to read for a year, Perhaps he is suitable for teaching people to read and not suitable for becoming an official. Then find someone. His most suitable position is better than letting him become a parent official and harm the people. Oh Meng Meng also looked down on Jia Zheng. You should know that at this time, there were only 300 successful candidates in the imperial examination, so this time there were not enough candidates to appoint old officials. It can be seen that anyone who became an official was not easy to be demoted. He was dismissed, and the court has ample reasons for it. Generally speaking, the likelihood of the court being at fault is extremely low. She is telling her children and grandchildren that they are not allowed to act recklessly because the court has even tolerated Jia Zheng, but cannot tolerate Jia Yutsuan. This is interesting in the middle. Yes, yes, the old lady is really wise. Jia Zheng nodded quickly. He now had the choice to listen, and he listened very well to the matter of Jia Yu village. 
As for saying that he was a vegetarian, he thought he didn't hear him. Now Oh Meng Meng feels like she's wearing a fake red building, but looking at Jia's mother's memory, Jia Zheng looks like a little dog in front of her. She always comes to ask Jia's mother what she means. So Jia's mother likes him and thinks he is the most beloved son in this mansion. Of course, as long as she doesn't care about Bao Yu, most of the time, the old lady thinks that asking questions about her little son is cute. But with a pet named Jingba that has been around for over 40 years, Jia Mu is really heartwarming. Mrs. Wang beside her was almost furious. Look at Jia Zheng lying on the ground, just like the lion dog that the old lady kept in front of her. But now is it time to help people write recommendation letters? Mainly, she found that her son's gaze at the old lady was different from before. Now, Bao Yu's admiration for the old lady is no longer the same as before, but a true admiration. This is her last reliance, and her hatred towards the old lady is like a raging river. Old lady, Bao Yu is still young. Mrs. Wang decided to use her son to attract O Meng Meng's attention. Just now, she said she wanted to invite the imperial physician, but the old lady ignored her and only asked Dai Yu to come forward and pay her respects. She also said Bao Yu's mistake. Mrs. Wang really feels like the old lady has changed her heart now. However, seeing the old lady scolding her son, she felt that the old lady had not changed. She had this temperament and insisted on holding on to her children and grandchildren tightly in her heart. Alas, I've been scolding my son and grandson for a long time, and I haven't allowed you to get up yet. You didn't even think about it. Where did you go wrong? Finally, Oh Meng Meng turned to her old daughter Dot in Dot Law, who was also in her forties, and knelt on the ground. It was sad to think about it, but she really couldn't sympathize. Yes, the wife's housekeeper is not effective, and the wife knows her guilt. Mrs. Wang didn't think so anymore and quickly pleaded for guilt. Anyway, she thinks that as long as she admits her mistake and has a good attitude, the old lady can always be more polite to her daughter. In law. However, she still miscalculated. If it were Lady Jia, perhaps she would be more polite to her daughter. In law. But now it's O oh Meng Meng. Who did she fear in modern times? She doesn't get married or have children. She wrote on advanced materials, she devoted her whole life to students, which delayed her personal life. She's too embarrassed to say that she just hates getting along with people and doesn't want to get married and have children. I feel like I'm going home, so I want to stay alone and don't want to socialize anymore. Why is he so determined to retire? He just doesn't want to deal with people anymore. Now she has suddenly grown 20 years old, and a whole family of idiots, up and down three to four hundred people. She really can't vent her anger now. Her son has beaten her, her grandson has scolded her, and her servants have tied her up. Now, I'm still afraid of you being a fake daughter. In law. I found that our writing software is as illiterate as me. For example, if I write slowly, but forget which one is dull, I write a pause. Later on, when I checked and found out that I had the correct word, I felt uneasy and quickly checked it myself. Sure enough, my pause was wrong. So in the future, if you find any typos, it's not my fault, it's the illiteracy system's fault. I have reviewed myself, but being illiterate together, I am also very sad. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Stupid wife you are listening at novel full dot audio. As the old saying goes, being a wife makes one strong, and being a mother makes one strong. What about you? The second wife is in chaos like this, and you haven't even reflected on yourself. Your grandfather is really stupid, but he's not bad. You are really bad and stupid. Oh Meng Meng was actually more polite to Mrs. Wang, at least retracting her cane and propping her chin up. Helplessly looking at the fake daughter. In. Law, who, although kneeling in front of him, was falsely disapproving and was about to overflow her head. Her memory of Mrs. Wong is really the 87 version of the TV drama, even when Mrs. Wong slaps Jean Chuan in the face, 
that harshness has passed for many years and has not been removed from her mind. Although she didn't know the cause and effect, that face was engraved in her mind. The old lady doesn't like her daughter. In law, so she can beat and scold her. But in front of her daughter. In law's son, is this kind of humiliation trying to force her to death. Mrs. Wong immediately looked like I was going to jump into the river, so please don't stop me. But kneeling there, he never moved. Oh Meng Meng was speechless and turned to look at Jia Zheng and Bao Yu. Did I say it wrong? How could the old lady be wrong? Jia Zheng was indeed a scumbag and immediately said. Master, the old lady said that my foolish wife doesn't know how to manage a household, which is why we are in such chaos. What about the big house? If Rongfu were to be handed over to the big house? Mrs. Wang was really angry. Speaking of other things, she can pretend to be foolish and wooden, but now what's going on is that Erfang is so chaotic because of her. This is not actually referring to Erfang, but questioning her over a decade as a butler in Rongfu. You should know that it was because of the death of Zhang, the first wife of the main family, that the main family could not stand up and demanded the name of their own steward, which allowed the second family to live in Rongxi Hall. Now this has been questioned, which is to seize her butler's rights and even to make them leave Rongxi Hall. Bao Yu didn't understand the twists and turns in the middle, he thought it was just a conflict between the old lady and his mother. At this point, it became apparent that his relationship with Jia Zheng was poor. Jia Zheng had just been beaten, and he still had to ponder what to do. Now that his mother was scolded, he immediately climbed down from the stool and knelt in front of O Meng Meng, holding her hand and tears streaming down his face. Before O Meng Meng could say anything, Mrs. Wang hugged the injured Bao Yu and burst into tears, My son, this family can't accommodate us anymore. O Meng Meng was a bit helpless as she knocked on the brick floor with a crutch. She didn't touch Bao Yu because she saw his expression of agony. So Mrs. Wang said she loves her son, and this love is also very fake. He was just beaten. You're holding him like this, isn't it just adding insult to injury? Finally, just after beating her son, Yu Wei was still there. Mrs. Wang immediately dared not howl anymore, but still hugged her son, trembling all over, letting Bao Yu know that she was a pitiful little being bullied by her mother. In law. O Meng Meng still stretched out her crutch to separate them, but she didn't let Bao Yu get up again. Mrs. Wang wanted to say something more, but O Meng Meng didn't give her a chance. Don't talk about what you have or don't have and I'll have someone seal your warehouse for us to audit. Oh Meng Meng stared coldly into Mrs. Wang's eyes. Mrs. Wang immediately fell silent and dared not even cry. I'm afraid I really told her to seal the warehouse and check the accounts. I just mentioned the matter of bringing Daiyu to Rongfu for upbringing. Have you discussed it with you? Have you agreed? After thinking it over, your son was there at the time. Oh Meng Meng sneered, not knowing what Mrs. Wang had done, and in Mrs. Jia's memory, only after Mrs. Wang married Wang Shifeng in the past two years did she feel a bit frivolous and didn't take her seriously anymore. But Oh Meng Meng was a woman who went from teaching to administration and eventually became a principal for more than ten years. The school she manages has over a thousand students. Mrs. Wang has been a housekeeper for so many years, how could it be impossible to find anything? Of course, looking at Mrs. Wang's expression now, I also know that the Jia family is probably moving out soon, so they are in a hurry to marry someone and fill the hole. However, this time, O Meng Meng didn't neglect this. She needs to first bring down Mrs. Wang's aura. So the old lady still thinks that her daughter dot in dot law is not doing well for Miss Lin. When it comes to picking up someone, what qualifications does the daughter dot in dot law have to say? After you send someone to pick them up, the daughter dot in dot law will make Lien's daughter dot in dot law well prepared. Mrs. Wang burst into tears. Oh Meng Meng nodded and turned her head to look at Bao Yu. Do you understand what your mother is saying? Bao Yu paused for a moment, unsure of what the old lady meant. She first said, I still do it for your sister Lin, 
and I think she's not doing well. What do you mean? The meaning is that I'm making a scene like this now, because of your sister Lynn, and I'm biased. The second sentence is, what qualifications does she have to say that she can't pick someone up? The meaning is that she didn't want to, and I forced her to do it. Thirdly, after I sent someone to pick her up, she asked your sister. In. Lol Yen to handle your sister Lin's affairs after she came, so if there was a mistake, she asked me to find your sister. In. Lol Yen, not her. Oh Meng Meng shook her head with a smile and then turned to Jia Zheng, do you think she's right? Jia Zheng was stunned. In three or four years, his poor brain had never been as focused as it is today. Especially regarding the matter of being a housekeeper. He has not been involved in these mundane matters for over 40 years. He knows right or wrong, but his stance is still good. He immediately said, Old lady, Wang is that ignorant and foolish woman. She was not originally that shrewd. Get lost. Oh Meng Meng was deeply defeated by Jia Mu. Really, she now feels that in her school, from top to bottom, really, they are all good people. All are human spirits, speaking is not tiring. They have always emphasized the importance of pointing things out from the beginning of society, saying more and making more mistakes, but what about the results? Does God feel that she is not satisfied, so he deliberately punished her into this foolish world, telling her how lovely her former colleagues and students were? Now she doesn't hate anyone anymore. She hates Jia Mu, raising a house of fools, thinking she's clever, but in fact, she's the biggest fool in this book. Madam, please forgive madam. She is getting old and lacks energy. From now on, Bao Yu will definitely be good to Sister Lin, twice as good. Please forgive your mother. Bao Yu quickly climbed forward, crying and pleading for mercy on behalf of his mother. He understood a little bit, and his mother didn't want to pick up Sister Lin, so he became passive and neglected his work. But that's his own mother, what can he do? I can only hope that the old lady hurts him and forgives his mother. This is his experience of constantly blaming others over the years. Oh Meng Meng and Mrs. Wang stared at Bao Yu together. Although they had different opinions, they both went the same way this time, with the same goal. Please stay away from Sister Lin. From when I said, pick up, to when she arrived today, it took two months and sixty days. You asked Lien's daughter dot in dot law to prepare, but you told me, what did you prepare? Where did you arrange for Dai Yu to live? Are you preparing servants, clothes, and jewelry? Oh Meng Meng lowered her head and approached Mrs. Wang's face, staring into her eyes. Mrs. Wang was stunned for a moment, stunned. It was said that Wang Shifeng was preparing, but she was the head of the family. She really cared and even if it was just a question, she would have arranged things properly for sixty days. It seems like I really can't argue anything. In my heart, I hate it even more. It turns out that the old lady has been watching coldly these days, just waiting for herself today. The unit's finance department was negative yesterday, but their department head refused to let them go back. The one who came today continued to come. I went out to eat with my colleagues at noon and didn't dare to stay at the company. In the evening, I mentioned that my colleague who had dinner with me was young. I went there and tested first. After testing, it was still a hurdle, but I still packed up the company and went to the new house. Who knows if there might be a delay, so I have been tinkering with it until now. Sorry, I just came up to update. Chapter 9 Compassionate master and servant you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 9 Sad master and servant outside, Wang Shifeng was also involved in a series of lawsuits. He tied up these women and asked Lin Jixiao to take people to steal a family. They were all domestic servants, all intricately intertwined, and suddenly a scene erupted outside. Fortunately, it was the old lady who personally gave the order, and everyone else heard it. She quickly followed out and didn't want to be burdened by some things. So, the women are actually a group, why does she manage the household and struggle to move forward? No one can touch it. This is the old lady's person, 
that is the lady's person, and there are also the old lady's people. Holding one hand can move the whole body. Baoyu's nanny, as well as the woman in charge nearby, were all personally assigned by the old lady. You want Grandma Li to see that tofu skin bun, but she said, Baoyu doesn't necessarily want to eat it when she comes back. Let's take it back and give it to my grandson to eat. How can a person who already has a grandson become a seven-year-old nurse of Baoyu? You should know that in families like them, wet nurses are carefully selected. A nurse who is not the first child is not allowed in wealthy families. Baoyu was born late, and Mrs. Wang was also in her thirties, almost forty. It's a natural anomaly again, so the ones chosen are all old people. Coincidentally, Mama Li gave birth to a baby, so she came in to nurse for two days, mainly to let her take care of the other wet nurses. Take her loyalty. So she's not strictly a nanny, she's just a nanny. The wet nurse of Ing Chun, that's Lady Xing's person. Otherwise, could she be so arrogant? Now the old lady wants to copy them, and she estimates that apart from the one from Tan Chun, no one else can fall behind. Watching everyone intervene, Wang Shifeng gave a few words of advice and then went back to the small courtyard where he walked through the hall. He sat on the Kong and started to daydream, while Ping Er brought her tea and sat silently with her at the bottom. You say, what's wrong with the old lady? Wang Shifeng lowered his voice and was in the west courtyard. The old lady let herself out, and just now, Bao Yu was beaten like that. The old lady didn't cry or threaten the old master to go back to Nanjing. It looked like she had seen the decisive killing of the old lady when she used to be the housekeeper. If that's the case, I'm afraid Rongfu will really change. Ah, grandma is really good. I just told Lin Jixiao's family that things should be done beautifully. The old lady spoke up, don't make any unnecessary mistakes. Pinger continued. She didn't say anything, she hinted to Lin Jixiao and let everyone else be at the forefront. She was the real housekeeper. If something really happened, turn around and don't rely on them. A few women. Wang Shifeng saw Ping Er's small movements, but didn't make a sound. She always handled these servants' affairs by Ping Er, and sometimes even made Ping Er blush. This way, with a balance of strength and softness, she could handle all the affairs in this mansion. What do you think about it? I just called in Mrs. Wang, Ping Er looked outside the door and whispered. Wang Shifeng was taken aback for a moment, but immediately nodded. Well done, smooth out the accounts. What do you care about now, whether it's smooth or not? You've burned everything. No need. Ping Er became anxious and shook her head vigorously, pulling Wang Shifeng's wrist. Wang Shifeng hesitated for a moment, and there was a sound outside the door. Grandma, someone from the Wang family is here. Come in. Ping Er pinched Wang Shifeng again before getting up and waiting on the side. Wang Shifeng moved his neck and picked up a tea bowl to take a sip of tea. Ah, what a big commotion today, I'm afraid I've exhausted my grandmother, said Lai Wang's wife with a flattering expression. The old lady is really angry, I'm afraid she won't do anything good. Go back and tell Lai Wang, hurry up and take care of the external affairs. Burn all the promissory notes and other things. Be beautiful and don't leave behind any details. Grandma, then. Lai Wang's wife was taken aback. They had only recently started lending, and it seemed like they were making a lot of money. They were preparing to start a big business, but now they're giving up. The promissory note is still burning, and the principal has not been returned. All right, fortunately I haven't started working on it yet but it's only a thousand tails of silver. Wang Shifeng was almost heartbroken. How about we lower the interest rate? Lai Wang's wife still couldn't bear to part. Don't, this kid needs to be dealt with quickly. For large amounts of money, just tell people that you don't want interest, only the principal, sign a new contract, and make an appointment for an hour. It's like grandma doing something good. For those ordinary and small households, you can burn them for twenty or thirty tails. It's like grandma helping them. 
Also, go back and take a look. Did anyone offend someone before, like those who were particularly bitter? Help a few tales of silver and don't cause any trouble. Ping Er quickly said. Lai Wang's wife is still struggling. You are really willing to sacrifice your life for wealth. The old lady even raided the house of Li Mama in Bao Yu's room. If you look back, what will you really copy out? How many more can the Li family stay? Grandma asked you to finish quickly, just to save your lives. Grandma was serious enough to bring in the sedan chair. The old lady always has to give face to the Wang family, but she will kill the two of you, but she won't show mercy. Ping Er was really angry and quickly said. Come and see Wang Shifun, the wife of Wang, silently holding the tea bowl without saying a word. She tightened her heart, nodded, and hurriedly left. Do you think the master and madam will have big trouble this time? Wang Shifun looked up as the person left. It seems that the old lady is going to raise her sword and establish her authority. She has been a housekeeper for more than ten years. You know, she knows, and I'm afraid the old lady also knows what's going on inside. Now that you have become a family, and the wife. Miss Lin, you can also see that the old lady is going to let her know that she is the only one who can say the final word in this house. Ping Er pointed to the end. Wang Shifeng was also extremely intelligent and immediately understood what Ping Er meant. Miss Lin is coming and she has also consulted with Mrs. Wang before. Mrs. Wang only mentioned something, but she didn't say anything else about where to stay or how to arrange it. Mrs. Wang always said that the old lady has her own plans. Can she ask the old lady? Now, it seems that she was wrong again. No matter how the old lady arranges, she must first prepare a set of things to let the old lady know that everything that needs to be prepared is ready. Nothing was prepared, just the red fruit hit the old lady in the face, letting the Lin family know that the old lady had lost control of the Rome mansion. So the old lady is attacking Miss Lin, Wang Shifeng sighed lightly. It was originally a fight between immortals, and the little ghost suffered. Ping Er actually wanted to say it for a long time, but there were some things that he really didn't have a chance to say. Think about it, Grandma should focus on herself and her older sister first. I only wanted to earn some money because I was concerned about her. As a maid with keys, I was not in charge of the household and received every penny from my wife. She shook her head, feeling disheartened. Ping Er approached Wang Shifeng and pressed her shoulders. The most difficult one in this family is probably Wang Shifeng. She can't afford to be a person. In the past two years, I don't know how much money I've invested in it, otherwise I wouldn't have thought about lending money to make up for it. In just a few days, something happened again. Thinking about it also made my heart gray. But seeing Wang Shifeng like this, he quickly smiled and said, we were originally from a big house. The old lady really wants to make trouble, I'm afraid we can also have a better life. I have always wanted to write about Wang Shifeng, but after thinking for a long time, I feel that the most unlucky person in the entire Rome mansion is this Feng Shizi, who looks like a powerful and influential person. She is really a mouse in the wind box. She is the daughter dot in dot law of the big house, but she is also the steward of the second house. The old lady is the spiritual leader of the whole mansion, and can take care of her anywhere, and she cannot afford to offend anyone. End of this chapter 10 Chapter 10 Continuing to Beat Sun You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Continuing to Beat Sun O Meng Meng didn't know the melancholy of Wang Shifeng's servant in the small courtyard behind her. She still stared at Mrs. Wang, she was actually quite annoyed with such people. Looking harmless to humans and animals, with an honest and filial appearance, but in reality, my heart is more convoluted than anyone else. She can't beat her daughter dot in dot law, let people say she's a wicked mother dot in dot law, but she really can't get used to Mrs. Wang's illness. She's here to retire, and she can't let this kind of person who has less success and more failures ruin her retirement life. In modern times, Oh Meng Meng has achieved success in her career without marriage or children. 
In other words, she knows that if she wants to retire and live a good life, she must save money well. Whether she has children or not, money is the king's way. Gia's mother must be wealthy, but this family of fools, after spending all their time in public, are they going to lie on her and suck blood? This kind of thing must never happen. How to eliminate it is to eliminate people with such excessive thoughts. So, if Mrs. Wong didn't come to find her, she also wanted to find Mrs. Wong. Just as she pulled off Mrs. Wong's fig leaf, she let the dull Jia Zheng and Bao Yu know. It was lively, but in fact, they didn't do anything. Sure enough, the two of them, big and small, turned around and looked at Mrs. Wong with a shocked expression on their faces. Even if these two are stupid, they know that they are mainly slow and don't understand the significance of Mrs. Wong's actions. They were brought up and raised, at least until they got married. Isn't this a disease? Daughter Dutton. Law. Mrs. Wong wanted to pass the responsibility on to Wang Shifun, but as she opened her mouth, Oh Meng Meng sneered. You said it will arrive today, so you sent a third class servant to pick her up and let her enter through the corner gate. Also, even though you knew there was a guest coming, you asked Bao Yu to offer incense and fulfill her wish. Why did you insist on returning it today? Also, the whole mansion is full of flowers, and even the servants wear gold and silver. Are you afraid that others may not know that you are particularly unwelcome to die you? If you opposed it, why didn't you say it back then? Don't say you had no right to say it, I just said it, and you agreed at that time. Madam, explain to the ancestors quickly. How could you not welcome Sister Lin? Bao Yu didn't know how to make the old lady believe that her mother really didn't mean to. I can only pull my mother and ask her to explain quickly. Mrs. Wang stopped speaking this time and knelt down on her own. My mouth pursed into a line. She really did it on purpose. She and your aunt have been at odds since they were girls. When she gets married, your aunt doesn't appreciate the Wang family's a woman without talent is virtuous family education. Oh Meng Meng sighed lightly. Looking back at Jia's mother's memories, Jia Min was really a bit petty and harsh. She was just the legitimate daughter of the Duke of the country, and even her brothers had to give way to her since childhood. Before getting married, she was really a bit ignorant of heaven and earth. Just like the campus bullying behaviors that O Meng Meng dealt with, the perpetrators had no idea that they were wrong or how much harm they caused to others. So Jia Min, or rather, in Jia Mu's mind, didn't feel that they had hurt Mrs. Wang. O Meng Meng is also very annoyed by these self-righteous guys. In principle, if Wang rushes up today and stabs Jia Min, she guarantees not to let her kneel, but she will help report to the police when she finishes stabbing someone. However, twenty years have passed, and if you don't poke Jia Min, but instead get angry at her six. Year. Old daughter, it's a bit unfair. Back in the day, Minner didn't care about you, but over the years, Minner has been incredibly close to your children. Even though she wrote me a letter from the heavens asking me to take good care of this bastard demon king, the gift has never been either expensive or good. And for you on air, when you sent her to the palace, she learned that she had written a letter back, recounting the pros and cons, and that I must not bury you on air's life because of it. Although I received the letter late, I thought you saw her feelings for her nieces and nephews, and your previous grudges had long passed O oh, Meng Meng looked at Mrs. Wang and deliberately let out a sigh. After talking for a while, she was always kind and eloquent. However, after tearing open her scar, it was Mrs. Wang who was bleeding. She couldn't resist this and was really not human anymore. Sure enough, Mrs. Wang sneered and said, Why? When she was here, San Chuan's appearance was not as good as her. When she got married, she had ten miles of red makeup, and even the jade and stone bonsai for my dowry had been taken to her by the master. She had to write letters back when she had nothing to do, meddling in her family's affairs, as if she was the most capable. We were all fools. Now it's so easy for her to die, and I have to take care of her children. Why? Jia Zheng turned around and slapped Mrs. Wang. He didn't have enough brain and could tolerate anything else 
but when Mrs. Wang spoke up about the jade and bonsai, he stopped. When my younger sister got married, there were two generations of nobles in the Jia family. Compared to wealth and status, your Wang family couldn't keep up with you. Can Min's sister care about that little thing about you? There was something wrong with the jade and stone bonsai in her dowry, and we didn't have time to prepare a new one at the time, so we had to take it from you. Later on, my father made it up for you, but you still hold a grudge against me. In these years, my younger sister has never been shorter than you. Even if Oh Meng Meng doesn't like Mrs. Wang, she can't allow men to beat her. With just one turn, it hit Jia Zheng on the back. Without calming down, it was another stick. You really have the ability. If you're not proficient in literature or martial arts, you'll only dare to hit your wife and children to vent your anger. I'm so blind that I think you're a little stronger than your big brother. That's why the whole family is stupid, and I'm also an old fool. Oh Meng Meng didn't have much burden in her heart when she scolded Jia Mu. When she hit Mrs. Wang, others said she was a wicked mother. In law, so she wouldn't let Mrs. Wang have the opportunity to fight back. But if your mother beats your son, do you dare to fight back? Of course, she finally forced out Mrs. Wang's true words, which was very good and useful. Mother, this. Jia Zheng angrily pulled O Meng Meng's crutch. Before, he didn't dare. It was because he thought his mother had hit her right, but now, he really feels a bit wronged. Wang hates his younger sister so much that he doesn't know how to deal with his mother on a daily basis, so he just hit him and really felt that his wife was just pretending to be filial on a daily basis. He really goes behind the scenes and doesn't know how much anger he has caused his mother. When did I teach you to beat your wife? In this world, only the most useless men would beat your wife. How could I raise such a foolish person like you? It really angers me. Oh Meng Meng stared at Jia Zheng. Although she also disliked women like Mrs. Wang, it was not a reason for domestic violence at any time. Mrs. Wang is both stupid and bad, but nothing is a reason for you as a man to beat your wife. Beating your wife is unforgivable with me, in fact, for someone else, my widowed mother may not dare to hit her adult son. For example, the Empress Dowager, who is more precious than the rest of the world, would definitely not dare to attack the Emperor. The famous drama, Beating the Dragon Robe, means that the Emperor is unfilial, but the Empress Dowager cannot beat the Emperor. Therefore, Judge Bao ruled and ordered the Emperor to be beaten in the Dragon Robe. Why? The Empress Dowager's wealth and status are all attributed to her own Emperor's son. If she wants it well, she must let her son respect and tolerate her, so she must also respect and tolerate the Emperor. But at this time, the highest status of the Jia family is now the Jia mother, the legitimate first-class lady of the duke. To the two sons of Ado who couldn't be lifted up, it's hard to say that their wealth and status are really tied to her, and this is the master-slave relationship. She really wants to fight whenever she wants, and no one dares to resist. A.I. Ruoshi, in fact, has nothing to do with the Red Chamber anymore. It can be considered as fundamentally changing the pattern of the Jia family, a form of resistance. This time, I deliberately followed the original work and found a story about a primary school principal who only knows love stories, turning the tide for his retirement and comfort. End of this chapter